Hey there folks, today we're going to talk about um, a spline generator that I created. I'm going to make this a pretty quick video and I'll give you the code. Uh, it's all in C++, but I'll show you how it works. So what I did was I created a actor, which is, I called the spline generator. So when you drop this into your uh, environment, then what you can do is you can set the mesh for the, the spline. And this is gonna be a spline mesh component. So the big thing that you wanna do with this is you wanna make sure that you're using a mesh which is facing in the Y axis. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So this is a, a section of a pipe that I've created. And if you look at the pivot on it, you can see that it's the lengthwise portion of it is facing down the X axis. So that is exactly what you want. Let's go back here and set my pipe to that then set the forward axis the material I'm going to use the same material but I have the ability to override the material on there and now the cool part is so here we have the very first spline component Hold on one second. Yeah, so you see the spline generator is an actor and it has a spline component underneath it. So what you do is you grab the point within the spline and if you alt click, grab this and drag it, now you have another section to your spline. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag out some more of the spline here and then I'll show you some of the cool stuff you can do. So if you haven't seen it before, you can grab the spline, raise it up, and now you see that it is deforming your it's deforming your mesh which is really really cool um, you can also so let me grab this one and obviously you can just keep going with this it will work with any mesh so now I'm gonna drag another one off I can raise this up in the air and you see that it's just following what the spline is doing um, and it, this will just keep generating your uh, your mesh as, as far as you want now if I wanted to um, I could put any mesh in here so this is great for pipes walls um, and really anything that your imagination can uh, can dream up now a few things that I've added here do this so you see this has the segment length I can control down here using um, the slider so if I want you know wider sections I can just say that I want this to you know be 300 long so now you know you get a really different look uh, if I want more of them I can go down to 50 and now it gives it, you know, a much different look. The other cool part is, let's say, sorry, um, this took me a little while to figure out. If you right click on your um, spline, if you're not seeing that little red circle, uh, this visualize roll and scale needs to be checked. And if you don't, if you have it unchecked, 
you see that little thing goes away. So when you try to rotate or scale, you, you really are not seeing it. Um, so this is like much more helpful. So now you can see, see how that red thing moves? Yeah, so now you get it. So you can scale down individual sections, right? To make it smaller, like substantially smaller. Let's go way down. And the spline will adjust all the meshes in there for you. So, you, you know, you can do like really fun stuff with that, right? Do this one. Um, you can also rotate. Let me do this. Ah, that's a little too big. Yeah. So, you know, you can do all sorts of crazy stuff. The other cool thing is you can rotate it. So if I grab this. rotate and now we'll rotate this way you see that it's sort of bending the uh, bending the pipe in the other direction let me rotate just a little bit more I'll grab right on thing let me ro rotate it this way I think you get the idea so Really, really cool. You can do all sorts of stuff with this. I obviously am not the first person to have uh, created a spline component like this, but I am going to uh, put it out on GitHub. You can download it and play with it yourself. It is a C++ class, and um, uh, it's just it's pretty basic. So I'm just going to stick it out there. You can dig through the header file and the CPP file and add it to your project and then go for it. So um, I hope you enjoyed today's video. It was just really quick. Uh, let me show you one more example of some stuff that I've done with this. Here is a wall. So uh, here's an example of a wall uh, done with the same uh, spline technology. So here, um, you know, you can, you can create walls, pipes, whatever you want. So uh, overall, really cool technology. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I try to upload at least once a week. Sometimes I get a little busy, but if you appreciate this type of content and you wanna see more, then please subscribe. It really gives me a lot of motivation to uh, put out these uh, helpful tips. Uh, the Unreal Engine is fantastic, but it definitely lacks and uh, in the in the educational department at times. So uh, I try to help folks out as I learn myself. Thanks, have a great day.